Love Ariel. Hi. Love Ariel is a painter who just exhibited at the East Sydney Doctors Heroin Show. That you curated. Yeah, that I curated. And um, what are you doing tonight here? Yeah. Um, nothing, just come and check out the art. I was here like two years ago and I remember seeing James Gerrat downstairs and being like, yes, him and seeing him. Master's actually, I graduated this year with MFA, but I'm the course coordinator of this department. So. Oh, brilliant! Yes. Of the installation yes, department. yes. Well, you're a brilliant coordinator. <laughs> Thank you. And who's right. your specialty favourite? Oh, that's, that's hard to say. Um, so well, I'm you very biased. No, I can't. Well, Andrew Haining over here, I don't know if you've seen his work. It's The wooden yeah. sculpture. Yes, yes. We're about to do it. Okay. We've already done a critique analyst of it. Have you? So, yes. Okay, it was a very nice sort of four channel performative work. Um, within that quite amazing kaleidoscopic structure and then if you have time to check out Ruby Taylor over here she's got a really beautiful um, installation with a, with a giant ladder and clouds made of Australian marina wool uh, what else what else um, we did pick out the wooden boy as something to feature as Tim yes. yes as the cube and have you looked at Catherine stucking skeletons on the wall which are quite beautiful, they're this kind of, kind of romantic, baroque, cascading, kind of, you know, very, very dramatic, I guess, uh, They are quite, almost like Wayan Coolets, in a yeah, sense, like Balinese, Wayan Coolets. Yeah, speaking like of Balinese. Speaking of Balinese, yes. Yeah, I'm flowing the Balinese tonight. You have. Because I'm on holiday, because all the hard work's done. Oh, yeah. you got that made up Yeah, in. yeah, oh. no, I'm just, yeah, I'm trying to just, Perform, perform holiday. And what do you think of the graffiti artist over there? Which graffiti artist? Well, the graffiti style. Uh, well, I think I think it's a very nice uh, kind of props to colouring outside the lines. You'd call him some sort of graffiti artist, wouldn't you? I mean, I, I, think, I see no, that. I think they're more oh. kind of like de Kooning or. It's almost like Banksy. Oh yeah, but but in a more drawing comic yeah, style. I think that, I think. That... Why do you say de Kooning? I don't find. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Why do I you find it? She's more, more intense than kind of you know, a, a, than street art or stencil art or I think they're 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 more. Pointed. You don't find Banksy high high oh, profile. Oh sure, I, I love his so work. So you've actually like, met his persona. Yes, I've met the Banksy that's never photographed. Really? Yes. That's extra. That's fascinating. Yeah. Anyway, oh. aside from that. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's, it's, I guess it's it, you know a different a different observation. It's, I think it's quite quite personal and an, and, a, and a space that's quite you know it's on it's on a, on a page. It's on a, a kids coloring in page. Mm. So I guess I guess in a sense there is a, a, a similar kind of um, intervention to say Banksy does on on public sites, but perhaps it's a little more German expressionism in there maybe mm, definitely. Than, than kind of Andy Warhol. 